should have found another way. Yeah, I'm gonna pour enough. some cool water down it. It won't help it me sting anymore. A bit. This is going to feel really... It's going to sting, okay? There you go. Let's go find Salma. He's going to wrap it up for you, okay? We'll have him all nice and wrapped up and you'll be all set and ready to go, okay? Okay? Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, dear. Yeah, Basil. I was hoping we didn't have to do this. <sighs> I'm so sorry. How much is that going to be? I'm... How much do I owe you? Gives you 35 oh. copper. Oh, 25 copper. Buy her a drink at the tavern. It'll help with the pain. No. No, I'm back. It's polite to say thank you. <clears throat> we'll call it a discount you next stop. time I go to the bathhouse instead. How about that? Can I hug? If it means you take the coin, sure. Thank you. Enjoy your new life. Thank you for being so kind. Girls mm -hmm. at the bathhouse get to basically be free. They can slowly gain coin and gain their freedom that way. That is what I want for the bathhouse. For girls like her to be free and do and choose what she wants. <sighs> but that's why this was her decision. Get her used to making decisions for herself. Just wish it wasn't so gruesome. Come on, dear. Let's have Soma patch you up and then you can get a drink. <sighs> Thank you again. Thank you. Say thank you. No, properly. Huh. Proper bow. Thank you. thank you. Come on. <clears throat> Chat, do maths. 13 silver, 11 copper, minus 25. That is turning into a very interesting day. Yeah, I suppose so. Right, well, I don't know what to seem as right now, but... Uh... <laughs> Rejoice, the arena starting soon. <laughs> well, we could watch some unbridled violence. What do you think? <laughs> Um, maybe. Decent enough way to pass the time, I suppose. I can hold the fort until Tazim comes back from wherever he's went on his drunken night. Don't say it, we know. If you'd rather stay here, I can uh, leave you be for a bit. But if Drudge is fighting, I do get a bit of enjoyment out of that. <clears throat> Go ahead. I might stop by. I am. No idea if you've been let Treat. go. Yes. Fight's gonna start soon. Thank you. You silly geese. I swear. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Don't be sorry. It's fine. It's endearing. Good morning. Oh, uh, Sergeant. Sergeant? What? What's going on? Miss Basil... Miss Basil should have a young woman with her that needs your assistance. Hmm. What about She what may happened? have just been very badly burned, so you may have to go and find them. I think they went looking for you. Shit. Alright, I'll find them right now. Thank you. 
And the last sound of the week. How are you doing, Lord? I'm doing well. I was just I was just clued in to a fun fun night out of us. Yes. <clears throat> Is Tazim back? I'm waiting for Tazim. Not yet, as far as I can tell. Where'd Tazim go? Tazim had a lot to drink last night, and I mean a lot. Okay. Don't you fucking Tazim say it. Out. Don't fucking say it. We've had it three times, we don't need a fourth. Oh, you've heard it three times? Well, how about this? Let's say something different. Come to the second round and shout for your man goat there. I'm going to be fighting in one of my old rivals again. We're going to have a rematch. So, hey, uh, give me a Don't shout out instead of listening to them, eh? Oh, Thanks, trust man. me, I'm not going to tell the second round. I got plenty of stretching and advertising to do. <laughs> Long story short, he went out the walls, didn't come back. I had expected him to wake up in the fields, but apparently he's went a bit further afield, so... He fought a bear, Time last I heard. To round up some folks to go look for them. Yes, that I haven't heard, which is interesting. Hello. What? Apologies, you wanted to uh, get the face of the smithy, the apprentice Who? is here. Us. Oh, okay. Tazim. Well, he's not Show back me. yet, is he? Are you able to bend brass best. bracers? I don't have any brass on hand at the moment. Oh, well, I do need the need them for a, a gift for one of my noble friends. I can pay quite handsomely. Mm. I don't have the material to do anything. It doesn't need to be quickly. I wouldn't even know where to get it from. I mean, you are the you are like an armor maker, are you not? Right, but we've had supply issues with iron. Well, I'm not an armor maker. I'm a smith. The armor maker is actually over there. Then I should be talking to him. Yeah. Maybe he has brass. Do you have brass? Nice I don't brass. have any brass, but I suppose I could look into it. And you said you were looking for brass bracers, may I? Bracers. Yeah. Ornamental type. Oh. It's supposed to be for a display piece for uh, a new armor set he's going to display proudly for at the party. He needs a, a full set. The last pieces he's missing are the bracers. Material which I could get, not too difficult. Does he have a set price for that? Yeah. See? Unfortunately, Move yes. To the fold, 50 50. <clears throat> Mr. Shriek. Giant spider, have you ever seen one? Uh, yes, once. Hmm. How big are they? Like, There's guesstimate. No Exactly. Well, it was no, from where you are. I don't believe they're 50 real. Fifty notice. It, about this not wide. Really yeah. The other fifty. From it, where he is to my hand. It was about this wide. It was big enough that I could crawl underneath it yeah. and have room. Yeah. Like a blanket. Why would you? I had to kill it. And they're about this tall. Uh, oh, Sean. Maybe oh. a little lower. You go. You go out in the forest often. A little lower. Have you ever yeah. seen a, yeah. a giant spider before? Oh, they're taking tally on people. Just did. <clears throat> Speaking of which, oh, there you go. Shriek. Just did. Hey. Shriek, you might want to know this. Did. Like breaking up? Your master's utterly butt naked coming towards town. If you would like to meet him and maybe give him something to fucking I'll get him some clothes. Yeah. What were you saying? Then? Of it. Very well. Uh, how long?
one cube estimate. Yes. Oh. Is that supposed to be? Ooh, my sweet rolls. I do have. I do have. Going with it. I do have antidotes just in case one of them got bitten by a spider. Oh great! Why are you carrying a bundle? No reason. Oh, no reason. Ghosts here. I don't ask them. I'm just one of mildly inconvenienced you. You know, I'm very glad I'm over here and you're over there talking to him. She's not good. You have clothes. Yes. Good morning, you lot. Good morning. Good morning. I think down the road. Where the fuck is Tiff? Hmm? I don't know. Um, if you have time later, I'd like to speak with you. I'll come find you. No rush. Hmm. Lady Sif, good day. Sif is completely naked. Right. Okay. <sighs> wow. Uh, I guess we're on the right trail. Why? Why are people nude? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> The two of you I'm see gonna... that Arn is wearing nothing but a shirt that's unbuttoned. Same with Torty. Uh, uh, both. <laughs> oh. Do you have anything to wrap Torty in? I have my scarf. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Nah, I'm fine. I have my apron. You can't just Torty. You can't just. They'll find you. You can't just walk into right town like that. Your house. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, you can... <sighs> Anyone want to buy some rocks? Oh no, my parents told me this would happen. Uh, no! As long as they're not nude or clothed. Yeah. That's fine. <clears throat> I'm... So good in pants. I can't put this shirt on. R why? What? Because my armor and my sword are spider silk to my fuck, back. Fuck. I'm not going to ask. I'm just glad you're back and. Yeah. We got very drunk. <laughs> yeah, last I saw you, you had three buckets of ale. I have never seen so many of my friends naked all at once. I should go into the bathhouse more often then. It's not something I desire. Yeah. <sighs> Never ends. Never ends. All right. <sighs> oh, that's right. I lost the bootstrap holes. Why do you? I don't. Don't ask me. I don't. I heard you fought a bear. Oh. I remember having a chokehold. <laughs> Exciting morning to see you. Mm, yes, I suppose so. Why are the floating things right here? What are you talking about? Are you still drunk, Arn? Tazim? <laughs> you try... You're like the eighth person who has done that. I'm so sorry. I feel like it's been ages <laughs> since I've seen you. Yeah, it feels that way. Well, it's good to see you in one piece, surely. I'm in a piece or two, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, Shadik. Hey, good to see you again. It's been a bit. There are hundreds of spiders in this cave. Did you know that? Is um Morden back at the yes. uh, mm -hmm. Do you need some Should water? Should forge. <laughs> something. Okay. You know how fast are they move? I need to ask him about something. A group at once. So anyway, <laughs> speak to each other. Spiders out in the forest. Be careful. Yeah, I like heard. <sighs> yep. So they can we'll again. Eat mines. You need to. You need to lay down, uh, for a day. Uh, yeah. Hell. Yeah. I think I will. Yeah. I think, uh, it's, 
Let's uh, let's let's get you home. Let's walk you home. Yes, yeah, that's, they're, they're all over the forest, you know. Uh huh. Yeah. Where there's no eight-legged creatures. Yeah. Absolutely. The town doesn't have walls. Well, if they no. were there, they could just climb them, couldn't they? Even if we did have walls. They could just climb them. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Uh, that's yeah. Well uh huh. It's okay. Yeah. Let's just um, let's get you home. Tazim, mm -hmm. I need you to do something. Uh, uh, just let's just anyway, let, let's get him home. He needs to lay down. He needs to lie down. He's out there. Yeah, he's he's cycling though. What happened? <laughs> no, no. She doesn't believe me. Needs to rest. Oh no. Come with me. Tazim. I'll tell her all about it. No. Okay. Keep the shirt. The baker. She's, she's at a shop. Whatever. I don't care. Is this really strong? I don't know. As I was saying. I think the mason is covered in spider silk. Sorry. It might stick to you, so don't touch it to yourself. That would make sense, I guess. I, I Maybe I can get Marin to pull that. something off of it. Man, you really, yeah, no, he's really very can't. Very or maybe I'll <laughs> have some spider silk armor now. Oh, no. Come on, Tizzy. Okay? Let's talk to him. Uh, like you seem dead. You know, can't get it off. There is hundreds of them down there. Hundreds. Oh, I was thinking there was like one. I was thinking there was. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, there's I was hundreds. Was like it was like a flood, like water. Oh, now you Coming gotta around the corner again. of the cave. The, like little guys, there was a big whole guys. Bunch. And... There was, there were cocoons down there. I heard it. It was like this muffled. <laughs> <laughs> there are people down there, Marco. People we will never see again. That we can never save. There were so many, and then they came pouring out. They were all over the countryside. It's like if someone took a bucket of water and threw it on a pile of rocks. Did that you just wake up, spiders. like, out At there? The bottom, yes. Yes, we were on the cave. And we're counting our good you graces really that you that all drunk, made it back. You? Like, Vezrin, Vezrin came back, and he, he smelled like what? he'd thrown up, like, the entirety of, like, that the bastard. week. He was the only one of our group we couldn't find. We went back for him. We went to Cassetto and we stole tools, and went back in looking for him. It was oh, horrible. Oh, oh, oh. It was so dark. You were also very it about last so night. Dark. I barely got any rest. Do you need some rest? And possibly some food? <clears throat> I'd like something to drink. Right. No alcohol. Well, no alcohol, right? Juice? I would like some alcohol. Maybe some bacon grease or something that'll some strengthen your tummy. Juice, up. you know? Yeah. Get the body going. Is there any rum? Um. Oh, the rum's all gone. Yeah. Why is the rum gone? I, I wish I could tell you. Someone drank it all. There were so many. Hundreds of giant skittering. Uh, hello there, Miss Lardia. Like it bastards. Big as a horse. Massive thing. Huge. Huge. He'll tell you all about it when he wakes up. We're gonna we're gonna get you in the house. We're gonna lay you down, get you nice and cozy. You're gonna take a I nice, can make you some tea. nice long nap. You know something nice. We still have sleepy time Hi. bags. Uh, sure. Hmm. I'll brew a pot if you want to. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna sit with my back to the wall. If that's all right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Can you get my armor and sword unstrapped from my back? It's sticking because of spider silk. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh... Ooh. I'll uh, just cut it away nice and slowly. Rolling. <laughs> just don't make any sudden movements or anything, because then I'll end up cutting you. Yeah, don't jump him. 
They just don't startle me or anything too. God, how much got on you? And I say we were at the bottom of a cave, covered. I meant it. It's like glued on. Ugh. 19, Kyler, you'll be able to rip it off bit by bit. Oh, God. Well, a watched pot never boils. <sighs> watched pot never boils. There you go. There's your armor. There's your sword. That phrase. They're all good. <clears throat> so, you're, you're home. And you're safe. It can't get you here. I miss oh, and his lucky flask. You no miss alcohol. Ledford? What? Oh. That's how bad it was. You don't believe me. You think I'm crazy. Well, we've seen some, hundreds. some pretty terrible things. Oh, you, my lord. I'm willing to s s hear reason. The walls okay. were moving. Oh. I heard skittering oh. and chittering. They were talking to each other. <laughs> What did, what did they say? Time. I don't know. I don't speak spider, you daft buffoon. I just heard them. <laughs> but you think they were speaking <laughs> English? Or common? I don't know. I'm trying to listen to the story. I'm trying to make all sense of it. Place. And uh, okay. underneath it all was that, up near the ceiling, all I heard was... <laughs> it's like three different voices. Definitely one was a woman. I didn't even see them, it was so black in there. Okay, but dark. no one you knew, right? I have no fucking idea. No clue. Okay. Tried throwing some rocks to try and knock them down, all it did was stick. Didn't work. Yeah, can't make any noise, because, yeah, the webbing. I couldn't see much anyway. The only way we got out was Torty. She could see. Sounds like it's yeah. almost better that you didn't see. It's probably better not to see. Yeah. Although, my gas lamp was on. But the problem is, went out. the mind wanders if you can't it. see. So you could have imagined anything down there. So I couldn't see anything else if I wanted to. In the lamplight, Torty was right on top of me. I could not see anything. Right. And this is after the bear. Yes. Okay, so there was a bear, and then there was a cave. All right. I left him with three buckets of ale, and he comes back like this. So somewhere in there. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? I was. He could have died. All of them could have. Well, died. I didn't think he was going to leave the city. <laughs> well, I'm just lucky that you're back. I... That could have been harrowing. I think it was harrowing. It could it could have been much worse. That's the only a... way we were able to get out uh -huh. was to shimmy out of our clothing. Everything was tied down too much. Right. Ah, that's why everyone's in the nude. Is there a? Did we did we learn anything from this? I don't know if there's anything to. But don't let them drink. I don't think I could stop him. I know times are pretty tough, but we don't have to drink our problems away, surely. Thank you, Marcus. You asked me a question I didn't hear it. Uh... Something something, I don't remember. It wasn't important. Only about learning something. Oh, was there a lesson to this? Did we learn anything? <clears throat> what did we... Did it provoke any kind of change in the human character? 
Or drow. I don't think Tordy shaved a day in her life. Okay, that was too much information. Mm, yeah. I'll just drink my tea. It was in my face for 40 fucking minutes. Well, that's in my mind she now. She is a swashbuckler. Yep, she's like, she's not one of the ladies, you know? She's one like one of the lads. She's one of the boys. That was the worst. Is that why you're like this? Not the spiders? The fact that you were under torty? Raylan's gonna murder me. Raylan doesn't need to know. What are you, what are you saying? Bush like a Pomeranian? What are you talking about? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. It was shaped. So it's not like she's unaware. <laughs> I mean, she owned it. I mean, she came back pretty proud of it, so. Yeah. yeah. I keep myself undressed. <laughs> this is like hearing Grandpa's nom flashbacks. Well, let's take it easy. Yeah, just for the day. You know, yeah, you've earned a bit back. of a rest, I think. Being a half -orc. Oh. You know, yeah. I, I got nothing. Either laying down a, a vacation, something nice. Yeah. Take a nap and then maybe you know. we'll go for a walk on the beach later. Yeah, you know? Again, the spiders are out and about. I've been, I've been out and about today and I haven't seen any spiders. I don't think, I don't, I don't think they're gonna come close to the town. When we came out, they were everywhere. I'm not exaggerating. Everywhere. Oh. And if it wasn't bad enough when we ran, when we went back on our suicide mission, Tang for whatever fucking reason decided to start fighting them at the mouth of the cave and it was a title he, he fought them what i don't know what the fuck he was thinking oh no um all right So anything that repels spiders, is there a practical solution to this? You know? You've got a hammer. Yeah, I've got like ten. Go just yeah. I'll crunch that little exoskeleton. Do, do you want a sledgehammer? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well. Okay. Yeah, okay, oh. no, I, I never want a sledgehammer again. Yes. Okay. Hundreds of them. Yeah. Do you want one? No, I don't. I probably wouldn't be able to lift it effectively, honestly. I could get you a small one. Like a. Like we just take the hammer from the forge, then, if that's the case. Yeah, you could just take the hammer from the forge. Well, <clears throat> you're here now. Inside and safe. Nice cup of company. tea with good company. Yeah. Yeah, it's sleepy time tea. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Did you put mm -hmm. something in my tea? Um, a tea? Why'd you call it sleepy time tea? That's what we had. That's what it's called. You don't like it. Have you betrayed me, Marcus Brooker? No, my lord? Um... Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep. Do you, do you want a hand oh. getting to bed? If he doesn't fall down the stairs, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, we're good. That's a close one. Yeah, we're good. Okay, Do you well, trust me? When I trust you. 
Okay, good. When do we consider putting him in a home? Are you serious? Well, I mean, he's... You know. <laughs> hmm. Home. <laughs> I said, I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you're home. Yeah, glad you're home. Yeah. Yeah. Glad to be here. People yeah. I can trust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think in a week. <laughs> <laughs> if it gets worse. Look, I think it was just a one-off thing. I'd I hate to find out. <laughs> what? It's those vents up to his room so we can circulate the air. I'm being betrayed. In talking to I would effect. despise to find out it would betray my trust. No, no, it's a vacation in a week's time. <laughs> very well. To a very special place. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm, good tea. Mmm. Mm hmm. I should have gotten the happy sunshine tea, shouldn't I? I, I? I think he thinks you put something in his tea, since you did call it sleepy time I tea. was sold like on the sleepy rapist. time tea, because it helps you to go to sleep. Get that word out of your vocabulary. <sighs> no. I know, I know what you're talking about. I've it's had a relaxant. The different, I, I know, I know. I've had the different teas in in Would Drania. happy sunshine be, be, would have been better? There was two kinds. Yeah. I was sold on sleepy time. Uh huh. I. How? How mm. can I? How is that? I think what? happy time might have made him a little, you know, more stable. Or minty thereafter. Does that sound appetizing? I actually love the taste of mint, so... Okay, but it's the word minty thereafter. That's a strange one. Yes. You see what I mean? It's like an aftertaste of mint, but... So How sleepy they... time <clears throat> is arguably the best of the three. Happy it just sunshine sounds so... could be anything. What? You know... No! Tea is a relaxant. It puts you to sleep. Time for sleep, everyone. I'm sure it has a real name. What? Sleepy time. Seriously? Close your eyes. <sighs> Relax. Why do you... We've been through this in the four months down below. Why do you make things weird? What do you mean weird? I don't make things weird. You're the one bringing out sleepy time tea. Don't be a dick about it. It's you, tea. Yeah, I know. I know what it is, but it's the fact that you call it sleepy time tea. That's what I've been calling it for years now. You sound like either a four-year-old or someone who takes advantage of people. No, it's what we've been having since the trip here. It's why I've been so sleepy all the time. Yes. Do you have depression fixed tea? D <laughs> depression thereafter? Is that what you need? Yes, please. <laughs> no, it's minty thereafter. You want minty thereafter. Please, I would love minty thereafter. <laughs> All right, if I find it in the market stalls today, okay. I'll get you minty thereafter. Thank you, and maybe something that, you know, boosts my mood and, and my libido a little bit. That would be great. But if you can't, don't the worry what? about it. What? What was that second one? Boost my mood. The other one. My libido. What is that? It's a special thing. Some people have. <laughs> you mean libido? Yeah, but I speak with an accent, if you haven't noticed, Marcus Brooker. I thought you just talked weird. Okay. It's an it's accent. Fun. I thought it was a drow thing. Okay. Uh, libido. Yeah, so if you have anything that takes my libido, by all means. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, let me let me put on uh, my original. Yeah, C- certainly. <laughs> well, so whatever you do, don't mix the sleepy time with the libido portion. <laughs> no. <laughs> We wouldn't want to do that. We have ways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going now. Thank you, Marcus. Have, Thank you oh, for you the sleepy have, time okay. tea. You have ways. See, now you sound like the fucking... Never mind. Thank you for the sleepy time tea. Fuck this place. <sighs> There'd be an Afro so Oh, yeah, because it's my job. It's my... Honor and and you're doing an ah, amazing duty. job at it. <laughs> duty. <laughs> it always makes you smile. Yeah. No, but the one day something comes fuck up, I'm gonna think it's my fault. No. It's this feeling that I don't... I don't know if you have this. Okay, yeah. Been plaguing me for fucking years. I'm never satisfied with what I'm doing. Even here, uh, I felt like I could have done something. I feel that, yeah. So when I see him come back and you, it's like, oh, nonchalant, everything's fine, as if it's normal. I don't know what happened in over there. I don't know what happened. But surely everything after that has been completely fucked. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So this is, by comparison, <sighs> pretty chill. This sucks, Mr. <laughs> Sharif. Because I'm starting to regret my life choices up until this point. You mean your That's life choices? That's the fucking hard part. What are you regretting? <laughs> I'm the farthest from home that I've ever been. And everything is fucked. I mean, this makes me think I should have just stayed in the death camp. I should have just said yes to all these horrible things. And I wouldn't have to worry about any of this. Ah. Uh... That- that's but you wouldn't have had such a great an adventure, would you? Think of all the people you've met, the things that you've seen, the things that you've done. <laughs> you became Marcus the Worthy. No. Yeah. I'm worthy when I'm dead. That's the whole point of that. But you're dead, so you're nothing. Why don't you feel worthy? I don't know. Uh, th- isn't that a Ask problem? Been five years. Doesn't that... Maybe I'll have the same answer. Well, you're feeling something and you don't know why. Doesn't that set little, you know, bells ringing off in your head? Maybe. Why, I, why don't I feel worthy? Why is that? <laughs> I ask myself that every morning. It's like you saying, why, why are you depressed? Oh, uh, like every single person I've ever loved has either betrayed me or left Mm -hmm. me up until this point. That's one of the main reasons. I was a drug addict for a very long time there. Most of my friends are dead. Yeah. Uh, I can't form meaningful relationships with anyone anymore, and I have to do fucking terrible things to achieve the goals that I want to achieve, that I don't want to do. But here we are. Yeah. That's why I'm depressed. Okay. So me answering to myself... Why am I not worthy? It's like me telling you, just get over it and be happy. You can't. But no, what I'm trying to say is if we identify the reason why you're feeling this way, we can work together to figure, like, to, to move on. Not move on, but, like, to, to, to deal with it. And it's, a, it's about looking inside yourself and wondering why you feel the things you do. Become self-aware with these things, and then you can tackle your inner demons. Only then. Well, I guess that's what Haskell said back in um, Adwick. I need to write my own stories. There you go. And actually have them finish. So the problem is, like I said, I'm not satisfied with anything I do. Even me being here, even working towards helping people. There's this hollow feeling in my gut. Always. Can't get rid of it. It's just there. Hmm. Do you feel like you should be somewhere else doing other things, maybe? (sighs) Well, now that we're here, 
We know what's happening in the world, right? Yeah. The world's fucked, but the people can be great. Yeah. But a lot of them are dickholes. Yeah. This is the problem. Yeah. So, me thinking, should I just be back home? Hmm. And doing things over there. I think no, because of all the shit I heard from... Uh, elf... Uh, Vesrin. Hmm. About how they, the Imperials use the fucking things. Mm. That's what's on my head. And mm. I'm thinking, no, that's terrible. What I'm doing here, I don't even know if I'm doing is good. I think you're doing great. That's the crossroads I'm at. And I thank you for that. But I can't convince myself of that. Mm. No one here can. Mm. And it's not a problem to be solved. You know what, like, that's the worst of it all. I don't think I can be fixed. It's me. It's no one else. So I just have to live with it and move on. Until you die and then you become worthy. <laughs> yeah, it sounds stupid, but I tell myself that every morning. Maybe today's the day I become worthy, which is the day I die. Yeah. Well, I hope you stay unworthy for a while longer then, because I like you being around. <sighs> it makes me smile, even though it doesn't show. <laughs> Come on, we got work to do. Let's get on you, bud. Yeah. Oh, my fucking eyeballs. Ow, ow, oh ow, ow. Oh my god, ow. it's already the afternoon. Oh. <sighs> Much better. I shouldn't have drank all that sleepy time. <laughs> Whoa. Now I'm a little sleepy. Feeling woozy. All that time with you watch Marcus walk away after your brief discussion. And you can't help but feel even the slightest twinge. Walking, watching him and knowing your father is trying to sleep off his thousand yard hollow stare after his horrifying experience over the last night. There's a small inkling in the back of your mind that you know what will solve things and all that stands between you and it is just a little bit of silver and then you can have it whether for yourself or for him a different kind of it's not poison it's it's honey total focus turn down the world around you all the voices go away and you can focus completely on that moment in its entirety it's just a little bit of silver away and you know where you can find some Oh, here you are. <laughs> here you are. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I am the Garth. I appreciate your work, as always. Oh, I am the Garth. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. What's wrong? I gotta go mix. Quick question, Miss Fenora. Hmm? Uh, can I buy an advanced healing potion off you? <laughs> My goodness. I go uh, through like one a day. Well, the one honest. I was making. <laughs> well, um, come with me. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't mind. 
No, of course. We're going to Elena's shop. And Wolf here would like to get out of the heat. <laughs> They've been walking quite some time. Yeah, it's that fur pelt. Keeps her warm. <laughs> nice. You do well in Haloff. You should have seen. You should have. You should have seen her. She killed a spider today. Did she? Well done. Yes. Those things are regular. <clears throat> uh, of course, of course. Um. Uh, well, Clifford was there to help, helping your uh, Tazim, the drunk that he was, <laughs> or no longer, just startled. Come on. In. Yeah, he came back looking pretty, uh, uh addled. Crashed? Yeah. Aye. If you don't mind, I'm going to, um, lock the door so I can take my hood down. Sure. Because it is a hot summer's day, I swear. Oof. Miss Lottie's going to be mad at me. I shouldn't have said that to Miss Extra, but I need to know. <sighs> About her getting injured and all. <clears throat> oh, right. <sighs> all right. So, the deal was I was supposed to be selling these potions to Vezrin and Mr. Markle. <laughs> it seemed you're already going to it. Seems like I can't make them fast <laughs> enough to even sell to them uh, quick enough. Yeah, I just seem to be using them up quite a bit, you know. Doing what I do. But I will be able to make up for it. As long as I can get a dragon fennel from the market, I'll be able to make them another acoustic so I can make up it in that end for them. Mm. <sighs> Now, this probably won't be ready until this afternoon. That's fine. And do tell your Tazim to check upstairs. I left him something up there for him. Yeah, he's sleeping off his uh, hangover right now. Uh. Okay. Let me see how that much that will be. We put him to sleep. Tucked him into bed. Gave him some sleepy time. Uh, tea, as Marcus calls it. Oh, how kind of you. Yeah. Yeah, he, he didn't look too hot. <clears throat> Who didn't? Mm -mm. Uh, Tazim. He, he was, uh... Oh, oh he, he was yes, kind he... of, like, he was going like this and being like, the spiders are out there. They're out there. There's hundreds of them. I'm hoping... I'm hoping you can snap him out of this stupor he's in. I don't want to see him go and, down a path he'll regret. Yeah, try not to let him get too into the drink, but, yeah. Mm. So let's see here. An advanced healing will be four silver. Yeah, four silver. Done. You said I won't be able to use it until this afternoon. Until this afternoon. <clears throat> to this afternoon. It won't be ready until this afternoon. It, it's been cooking all morning, so it should be ready by the afternoon. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome, and let me see how much I will need to put into Miss Elna's coffers. <sighs> All right. Thank you for that. I got some errands I need to run. I'll see you around okay. there. Thank you. All right. Be careful. Ah, yes. Oh, and I don't know if you should know this or not. 
But someone's looking to get those vials from here. I don't know where they are because I gave the other one that Mother had to Oshan to put somewhere so I didn't know where it was. So I think he's going to do something dumb. I don't know what to do. I know he's looking for them. I know he wants to do something with them. Do y'all have a plan to do anything tonight? Nope. Or something like I don't that? have any plans. Ask what these vials are for. These vials have Soma's blood. It's the one that her sister is asking for, or she's going to kill someone in about what, what another day or so. Something like that. I feel as though I'm horrendously out of the on something. A couple days ago, Lisa told Soma that he had four days to get those vials back from us, or she would kill someone close to him. Babel's was the first mark as her target. I think we got two days left. Drink some cold water.
I stupid? Why did I think there was a U in there? Shit in.
God damn. Really? Fucking entered a bus fight. as the satchel of spice starts to go up in smoke and flames. The typically sweet smell starts to turn a little acrid when burned directly like this. Almost stinks. You think about your conversation with Marcus. All the things you have lost along the way between where you were as Kyler Blint and where you are now as Kyler Earnhardt. You have lost friends. You have lost comrades. You have lost people you have fought with and that you would call brother. You have watched your surrogate father endure so much and your mother be forced to return to the waves just to try to make a future that is worth living. You have lost so much. But in this moment, you resolve one thing. You will not lose your soul to this, not today. This is very different from 10 years ago. Funny how things work out. This doesn't come to bite me in the ass. wisdom. Honor and wisdom.
Christ. Oh, um, excuse me. Mm. If you could I do business or... Yeah, sure, what do you need? Or could it... If, uh, I was wanting to actually purchase a dagger. I can have one made. We don't have one on stock right now. Uh, that's fine. I, I will be, won't be back for a couple of days. Okay. Um, um, or tied on for something. Sure, let me just check the pricing. Uh, an iron dagger would be five silver twenty. I I do have an I do have an, uh, three silver fifty copper at the moment. Is the right I pay for the rest when I return? Sure, that works. That's when I get paid. Uh, do I have to uh, fall out a name? Or I never really. Yeah, if you can give me your name, that would be pretty uh, handy. Hmm. Uh, okay, because I struggle with my last name. Um. Matthias. Um, I don't know if you needed the last one or not, but... Matthias. Well, if someone comes here called Matthias asking for their dagger, then... We'll know it's you. Uh, I'll, uh... Thank you. Get to work on that. Thank you, sir. And you have a rest of your good day. You too. Chat! How much money left? <laughs> I paid forward for you so you can work quicker. It benefits the both of us. And I have plenty of coins. You didn't give me the dagger, we didn't do the the transaction yet. How much did you pay? Three silver twenty, was it? Currently doing maths. There we go. One second. Me too. I can make sure of my math. Yeah. That means. Chat, is that wrong? <laughs> anyway. How are you today, Miss Ladios? Good to see you. No one you figure out something funny exists after being in denial of it for so long. You know about the spiders. Giant spiders and people make them seem to be far worse than they actually are. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I, you know what? I think what you're fine, honestly. Living inside the city, you'd be safe. I wouldn't worry about it. That's what I've been told. They don't like sunlight and they don't...